N8N versus Defy. Which is better? In this video, I will be comparing both N8N and Defy AI. When it comes to workflow automation and AI-powered processes, two powerful tools stand out. Defy AI and N8N. While both platforms offer robust automation capabilities, their core strengths and target audiences differ significantly. So, which one should you use? Let's break down their technical features, use cases, and how they stack up against each other. Primarily built for large language model, LLM applications, Diffie streamlines AI workflows by simplifying data processing, prompt engineering, and model optimization. It's designed for those looking to build conversational AI apps, automate batch processes, and enhance AI integrations without extensive coding. While N8N is an open-source, node-based automation tool focused on workflow orchestration, N8N shines in its flexibility, offering complex integrations with various APIs, databases, and cloud services. It's best for developers and technical users who need full control over their automation pipelines. Let's talk about workflow types. Diffie AIs Chatflow is designed for conversational AI, integrating question-understanding nodes, memory retention, and annotated replies. Workflow is focused on automation tasks like data analysis, content generation, and email automation. Supports logic nodes, if slash else, code execution, and iterative processes. Now what about N8N? Node-based workflows. Highly customizable workflows connecting various services and actions. Each node represents a step, allowing complex multi-step processes. N8N have trigger and action nodes, which includes webhook triggers, API calls, and data transformation nodes. Diffie AI has streamlined integrations for AI tasks, emphasizing prompt engineering with a WYSIWYG editor. It also supports function execution using Python or TypeScript, suitable for AI model fine-tuning and embedding context management. On the other hand, N8N has offers hundreds of pre-built integrations for CRMs, databases, cloud services, and APIs. Users can self-host N8N, giving them full control over their data and write custom JavaScript code for ultimate flexibility. Diffie AI has real-time debugging for both chat flows and workflows. Users can click Preview to test conversational AI or run workflows to troubleshoot automation processes with step-by-step -step logs. But N8N provides execution logs for each node, along with retry options, error handling, and stepwise debugging. The visual interface helps developers trace data flow easily. Let's talk about scalability and performance. Diffie AI is optimized for LLM scaling. Diffie automatically manages context embedding, fine-tuning AI models with annotated data and handling high-volume batch processes without heavy coding. N8N is built for workflow scalability, allowing distributed deployments via Docker or Kubernetes. Can integrate with cloud platforms or databases to process large-scale automation pipelines. So what about the ease of use? Diffie AI prioritizes a user-friendly interface suitable for both AI developers and non-technical users. The Visual Workflow Builder reduces the need for intricate coding, making AI app development more collaborative. While visually intuitive, N8N requires a steeper learning curve due to its emphasis on node-based logic and self-hosted options. Best for developers comfortable with APIs, databases, and custom scripting. Diffie AI is focused on AI development, with official documentation and integrations with services like AWS Bedrock. More structured support for AI workflows. N8N boasts a large open-source community, active forums, and GitHub repositories. Strong peer-to-peer -peer support for troubleshooting and custom integrations. So, final verdict, which one should you choose? Choose Defy AI if you're building LLM-powered apps, need seamless AI workflow automation, and want a low-code environment for AI development. Choose N8N if you prioritize flexibility, need to build complex multi-service workflows, and have the technical skills to customize and self-host automation pipelines. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.